Today I will share with you how to use the multi-view feature in the Insta360 app so you can make a video which looks like this. To use the multi-view feature you must record a 360 video with yourself in it otherwise it will not work. A multi-view shot basically allows you to see yourself doing whatever you're doing. A multi-view shot is two views of the same 360 video. One view which you can't control and one view which you can control. The view which you can't control is auto-generated by the AI. It will look for a person in the 360 video, track that person and keep that person in the center so we can see their reactions doing whatever they're doing. And the second view is the part which you can control and reframe however you like. So let's see how a multi-view shot is edited using a single 360 video. Whether you're editing a single shot or multiple shots, it's always best to edit your shots using the Stories tab so you can export in the highest video quality possible compared to the Album tab. So to edit your shot, go to My Stories, Create a Story, tap the shot you wish to edit, and tap the tick to confirm. The first thing I'm going to do is trim this shot down to a seven second shot. So to do this, I'll tap the tweak tab, the trim icon, and with the left marker selected, I'm going to trim the shot to where I want it to begin, and then select the right marker to trim the end of the shot and bring this down to a seven second shot. And tap the tick to confirm. So now I have a seven second shot. Next, I'm going to turn this seven second shot into a multi-view shot. So to do this, I'm going to tap multi-view and now the app is looking for a selfie view shot. Now, when you make a multi-view shot, there are two shots, one shot which you can control and one shot which you cannot control. Right now, the app is making a selfie view shot, which is a shot which you cannot control. So the app is looking for a person in your 360 video. It will track that person and keep them in the center of your shot. And this selfie view shot is the one in this circle. And the shot which you can control is this bigger rectangle. To change the shape of this circle, just tap circle and you can change it into a rectangle. And if you tap it again, you can change it to a split screen view. Next, let's edit the part of the shot which you can control. So to do this, tap reframe. And I'm going to pan this shot from left to right very slowly. So to do this, I'm going to add three pivot points, one at the beginning, middle and end of my shot. So at the beginning of my shot, I'm going to go to the left hand side of my footage and add a pivot point here and change it to a linear view. Then I'll go to the middle of my shot, pan to the center, and add a pivot point here. Then go to the end of my shot, pan to the right, and add a pivot point here, and tap the tick to confirm. So if I play this video back, you have the first half of the video, which is controlled by yourself, and then you have the second half of the video, which is generated by the AI, giving you a selfie view. To change the aspect ratio of your video, tap the down arrow, tap the ratio button until it says 9 by 16, and you now have a video which is ready to upload onto Instagram Stories. To export your video with the highest video quality possible, tap the export button in the top right hand corner, tap quick export, Tap the cogwheel next to custom. Make sure the highest resolution and the highest bitrate is selected. Then tap save and go back. Tap the arrow, then tap custom. And now your video will begin exporting with the highest video quality possible. And that's it. I hope you found this video useful. Do leave a like if you learned something new and definitely subscribe if you want to see more awesome video tutorials, especially now that I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm going to be doing more iPhone-based tutorials now. So definitely stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video.